Hey, Gypsy K here. How's everybody doing? First off, let me say that I um, was a little leery about uploading another video. Um, the main reason why I set up this channel was to put up the video for Roger. Um, because I felt that as a friend, I'm not his best friend, but I've had a lot of dealings with Roger over the past year and a bit. Um, and we hung out a lot on Stickham. Um, that I wanted to give him at least a very small part of my voice, lending it to him in regards to that individual that I made the response video towards, who shall remain nameless because really that individual is not worthy of a name. So I wasn't going to upload anything else here, but I've received a lot of messages over the last couple of days, and people have been encouraging me to try and get my account back. People have been saying very kind things to me, and it's just floored me with the whole Roger scenario that's been going on, with the big love-in that we've had here over the past few days. I mean, let's look at it all as a positive and not a negative. I mean, we lost one of our friends, and he's passed on, yes, but he left his legacy by bringing a lot of the community together. When you got perceived haters like the ski hands of the world and the exciters of the world, Haley and Exciter and all them, and me for that matter, making videos and talking about an individual in a manner that's respectful, dignified, honest, and from the heart, then you know something truly special has happened. And I'm not ignorant, nor am I blind. I see it. And it's made me wake up and look at things a little differently now. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, I want to turn over a new leaf. Uh, so I'm just going to put this video up and say this. First, to all the people that I offended, to all the people that I harmed or perceived harmed, to all the people that felt somewhat betrayed or anything otherwise by me, I apologize. Okay? I apologize. I'm not going to go through the list of people, nor am I going to list off what the alleged infractions would be. But for my part, as a 38-year-old adult, who really is just sick and tired of being sick and tired, I just want to say, I apologize. I also want to say that I will admit I am addicted to the YouTube community. I'm not around that often. Well, before Roger had passed away, I was around like once a week or once every couple of weeks. Um, but I have been around the last few days reading comments and watching videos and stuff because it's just kind of floored me. It's floored me that this, this amazing magical thing that has happened where a complete unknown, a complete stranger to hundreds of thousands of people has somehow touched everybody's hearts. <laughs> Tacking as cliched as it sounds, it's fact. And people have come together and they've talked about it, they've consoled each other, they've sent their condolences to family and whatnot. And other people, such as myself, have seen the light, so to speak. Um, a, char a, a character, a YouTube user, sorry, I'm looking at the window because uh, I only have a 10 minute limit. A YouTube user named 2Root71, I think is your channel name, Jim, um, posted a comment on my last video apologizing for the way that he had treated Maggie and I. And you see, that really opened up my eyes and it made me think about the way that I've said and done things to other people as well. So Jim, 2Root71, I sincerely thank you, and so does Maggie, from the bottom of our hearts. I appreciate it, man. Fucking respect to you. Oops, there's my first fucking swear word. God fucking damn it, I was gonna fucking try not to fucking swear. God damn, fuck, fuck. <laughs> okay. I, um, I finally... Uh, I, I don't understand how to play the system really on YouTube. You know, I don't file DMCA's. There's hundreds of videos made of me and I've never filed one. I don't understand really the whole flagging of the videos and all that kind of crap. I've only done it once in one DMCA. Um, and so I have no idea. Hell, I didn't even know how to work my channel for the longest time. So I have no idea how to get account reinstated. Um, I understand that I've said some stupid things in my little way that I act and act out because I go for 
the gut, so to speak. You know, I'm an opinionated asshole a lot of times. Um, so I don't really understand how to get a channel back. I did send a message yesterday and I respectfully apologized to YouTube and I asked if I could in some way, shape or form get Producing 101 back. If it happens, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I honestly, I honestly and sincerely mean it when I say this. When it was shut down for maybe two hours afterwards, I was like, oh, damn, damn, couldn't have lasted two more days and it would have been my one year anniversary of this account. And then I sat back and I realized, eh, it was bound to happen sooner or later. I was becoming unhinged. Somebody left a comment yesterday about uh, I was being a lunatic, you know, I was losing it for a while there. And I agree with that. I agree with that. I was, I was feeding off of, hmm, I was feeding off of negative attention. And I'm smart, okay? I'm an intelligent human being. I'm an adult. I'm a 38-year-old male adult. Adult male. <laughs> Fuck, it sounds like I'm a SPCA. Would you like to adopt a 38-year-old male? <laughs> um, I understand that I pushed it, and I pushed the limits a lot. Um, it was wrong of me. I'm not a hater. And for those of you that do know me and those of you that have met me in person and in real life, I'm not a hater. I went out with a YouTube user today. Um, he's a partner here. Uh, we went to the car show, the Toronto International Car Show. It's one of the biggest in the world. And uh, we had gone to it last year. It was the first YouTuber I'd ever met in real life. So it was like our one-year anniversary. I won't mention his name because I honestly don't want to get people in trouble. That's why I don't include them in their videos. And that's why people have asked me to do collabs. And I won't be in their videos right now because I really don't want people to get in trouble. Because I've heard that people have been getting shit if I'm, you know, anywhere near their channels and stuff. And I really, I, that, that's awful, and I, I feel bad, and I don't want anybody to, I just, you follow what I'm saying. So um, we were talking about that today, this uh, user, this YouTube user and I, and, um, you know, I asked him, am, am I a hater? Like, really, do you see me as a hater? And he said, no, no. You're opinionated, a bit of an asshole sometimes, but you're not a hater. And he said he considered me a good friend. And uh and that he knows that I would go to bat for anybody. And that meant a lot to me. Because I would. I would go to bat for anybody that was my friend. I would stick up for anybody that was my friend. I really am not a hater. I, I don't troll people. I don't spam people. Um, I don't drop people's information and stuff like that. Um, I foolishly gave a phone number to somebody last year, which I shouldn't have done. And I did it out of spite because that individual, said individual, had given my phone number out. But other than that, I've never really done anything wrong, except act like an asshole and an immature little shit at times. A lot of you have entrusted me with your deep, dark secrets. Do you see them around anywhere? I've never, ever, ever spilled anybody's secrets. Ever. I'm just, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of the fighting. I'm tired of the animosity. I'm tired of... I'm just tired of the shit that we put each other through in these like social networking circles. I mean, it's really kind of, it's like we, 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 we entrust somebody, we become friends with them, we get to know them, we become close to them, and then through one form or another, we end up stabbing each other in the back. And I've seen it happen more often than not, you know. It, it, and it's not just with me, it's with other people too. I've talked to people about this. And it's so strange. Maybe it's because we hide and we have this like sort of, safeguard, you know, because we're right here. Here I am, and you're out there, and I'm right here. I don't know. But I don't want to be like that. I want to be a good father. I want to be a good husband. I want to be a good person. I want to be a, a contributing member to society. I want to continue on the forward path. I don't want to live in the past, nor do I want to wallow my shit in the present. I want to look forward to the future. And I would like to think and hope that there are others out there that feel the same way. I am addicted to YouTube, I'll admit that now. And this Roger passing has really opened my eyes up to a lot of things. Sorry, it's an emo video, I guess. It's all I got. I wish you all the best. If this channel is banned, uh, I can't do anything about it because people will flag me and 
It's just a thing. So I wish you all the best. I hope you all find the chosen path you want to be on. And I hope you dream at night and don't have nightmares. Peace to you all. Gypsy K, out.